In this video, I will be providing you with what I refer to as the magic arch formula. I received it uh, probably about 20 years ago. I was working on some houses on a golf course. They were track homes and the foreman um, asked me if I would do the arches. And uh, I said, yeah, that's great. I go, but how in the heck am I going to figure out these uh, different shapes? And uh, he gave me the formula and it has been in my secret vault for years. Well, not really. It's available on the internet to anybody who can find it somewhere. And you just found it. So let's see if I can make some sense out of this. This will be example number one, a three foot wide opening. 18 inches is half the distance. We're going to need this and we're going to need the 12 inches or one foot. So over here I have the measurements in feet, one foot six inches. Over here I have the measurement in inches. We're going to use that for our formula. Now the measurement that I come up with um, it, by using the formula, which I'll show you in a second, is 19 and a half inches from the top down to here and then we'll just simply draw a, th a 19 and a half inch circle 19 and a half inch radius and you can see where it uh, it uh, connects perfectly at uh, the marks where we want it to dead center in the opening and in our one foot section there now here's the formula height squared plus half the width squared half the width, this is half the width, this is half the height, 12 inches, 18 inches. And then of course we're going to divide the height times 2 at the um, uh, to get the number that we want. So let's go ahead and forget about this for those of you who might be a little confused. And I'll walk you through example number 1. 12 inches height squared is just simply multiplying the number times itself 12 times 12 equals 144 height squared the half of the width squared would be 18 inches times itself 18 inches equals 324 we add these two numbers together remember we're adding the numbers right here and then that gives us 468. Then we're going to need to calculate the number that we're going to divide it by. And in order to do that, we're just simply going to multiply the height times itself. Or we can simply add the two numbers together. 12 plus 12. 12 inches is the height. 12 plus 12 or 12 times 2 equals 24. Then we'll simply divide 24 into 468 and that might be confusing with your calculator but uh, for those of you who um, aren't sure simply enter the number 24 and divide it uh, and then push the divide symbol and then uh, enter 468 and if you don't get 19.5 just simply reverse the numbers and enter this one first and this one here second and uh, and then remember that of course when you're using your formula um, and, and again, it's not a bad idea just to take a couple of these examples, grab a piece of paper and a calculator and work your way through it so that you're familiar with how these numbers get added um, together, multiplied um, and divided. So then we're going to take and divide the height times 2 or 24 into 468. That gives us 19.5. 19.5 inches is the radius. Now, for those of you who understand this, you don't need any more help. Um, you can simply stop the video right here. Um, if you need a little more help, then watch the next two examples. Um, or like I said, grab a piece of paper, a pencil, and a calculator and work your way through the videos while you're pausing it and, um, and then running it again. Push play, run it, stop it and uh, check your numbers and stuff like that until you're familiar with the formula. In our second example, we will be working with a 49 inch opening, half of 49 inches, 24 and a half or two foot and one half inch. Find our center point. And of course, our measurement that we need to multiply itself by itself to help us with the formula, 24 and a half inches. And in this one, I'm going to do something a little different. It'll make sense here 
as you see it, um, but I'm going to come down three inches and then use six inches. So six inches is going to be the measurement that we are going to be working with for our height. And the three inches is going to provide us with some room to build our arch out of plywood and two by fours. If we don't have some room at the top, then we could end up having a difficult time making an arch. You're going to be better off if you can leave a little bit of room, at least an inch and a half, the width of the two by four to build your arch. And again, I do have other videos on building arches that will uh, make sense um, to you. And I'll put a link here to, uh, to one of them to get you started with that. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our formula, our second example. And I'm just going to kind of run through the math here. Again, you can start and stop this at any time and double check my math for me. See if there's a problem with it. 6 times 6 equals 36. Again, the height squared. 24.5 times 24.5, 625, half the width squared. 36, add the numbers together. We get 636.25. And then to find the um, bottom part here divided by the height, we are going to take 6, our height, times 2 equals 12. 12 divided into 468 equals 53.02. Basically, 53 inches will be our radius. Now let's go ahead and take a look at where we're going to put the center point. And if you notice here, I'm not using 53 inches. That's because I got to add three inches to the um, length here to um, that I'm using going to be using to make my my plywood arch a little stronger and uh, a little straighter in some cases. So we're going to add an extra three inches. Here's our 53 inch radius. We can see it lining up here. Nice. Looks good. Again a circle just kind of giving you an idea of what we're working with here and we can see how everything lines up come down three inches and now we have a, we can use a solid piece of plywood instead of in the previous example example number one where the arch went up to the top with the arch if we were to build something like that would require two separate pieces two separate sections you'd build this side of the arc arch and then this side of the arch and like I said sometimes you're going to be able to add a little bit of room here raise the header up a little higher and then um, use one piece of plywood for your um, pattern and for each half of the section that you're going to use for building the arch to create a nice straight line sometimes when we build it in sections it'll actually you can have a circle that will come up at a nice curve to a point and then the since you're using the same pattern would come down to a curve here but it's not going to be a nice smooth radius so i'm just throwing that out there now for our third and final example we will be using a nine foot wide opening and a seven foot five inch tall opening half of nine feet is 54 inches 54 inches will be the measurement we're going to be using and 14 inches for the height. We're going to drop down 5 inches. And in this one here, I'm not going to um, take my measurement from here. I'm going to take it from here when I get to the arc um, or the um, radius for the to find the center point to start with for our circle. Another view here, 14 inches and 5 inches. Another view of it there. Doesn't hurt to have different views in. I know sometimes people look at something flat and it's they have a difficult time looking at it. So I try to throw in as much stuff as I can in my videos. Uh, 111 and an eighth inches is going to be the measurement again from here. We're not going all the way. We'd have to add five inches to this if we were going to go from the top. And again, it's going to be difficult. I can draw a line across here in the um, video, but if you're measuring something like this in a center line, um, it might be easier to measure it from this point. You just got to make sure you add the um, five inches to it or whatever the difference is here. There's our radius. And again, we can see it's lining up with the point here. 
lining up with a point here. Perfect. With our magic formula, looking good. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the formula. I made this one a little larger in case uh, some of you are having a problem with uh, um, viewing it on your phones where some of this stuff is ridiculously small. So again, height squared plus half of the width squared divided by the height times 2, example 3. 14 times 14 equals 196. We got 14 inch height. 54 inches times 54 inches equals 200, 2,916. Ours are 54 inches. Add the two numbers together. And then um, we're going to take the height and multiply it by 14 times 2 gives us 28. 28 divided by 300 and or, or 3,100 and 12 or 3,112 gives us our 100. An 11 inch 0.14 that's close enough to an eighth of an inch 0.125 is an eighth of an inch if you can get it exact if you need to on a radius this big it's probably not going to matter and uh, that's how we got our radius and hopefully that makes sense if it doesn't you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment area and I will answer them as soon as possible now let's take a look at what the arches would look like after you are filling in the opening here and I'm just going to kind of run through this here. Video's already a little longer than I usually make them. So, but I wanted to give you an idea of kind of what the arch might look like after you have taken the time to do the math to figure it out. And again, you can kind of see here what I was talking about where you might have two pieces. This would be a piece and this would be a piece where that wouldn't be the case on the other ones. So that's it for the video. Hope it helped. If it does, um, you know what to do with the old thumbs up button. And thanks for watching.